Okay, welcome you all. Today we are going to learn Dirac equation. Our objective is to obtain the relativistic equation for a spin half particle. Before going to that, let us have a look at the kg equation. Kg equation is d element operator plus m0 c by h bar the whole square acting on psi equals 0. And we know that the kg equation satisfies the continuity equation of the form del dot j plus dou rho by dou t equals 0. And rho, o of, rho of xt is of the form i h bar by 2 m c square psi star dou psi by dou t minus psi dou psi star by dou t. That is here rho of x t is not in the form of psi star psi. That is one cannot define expectation value etc. in the usual fashion nor one can even identify operators for all dynamical variables. For instance, if the Hamiltonian operator is not defined, if it were, it would satisfy a first order equation of the form h psi equals i h bar dou psi by dou t. Dirac observed that a first order equation of this form would be free of the difficulties experienced in connection with the kg equation. He therefore proceeded to postulate the existence of a Hamiltonian operator which should be linear in momentum component. It means that a relativistic wave equation it should be linear in spatial operator that is it should be linear in spatial differential operator as well as dou by dou t. Thus, the equation explicitly preserves the symmetry between space and time. So, in order to obtain the Dirac equation by the special theory of relativity, we know that energy momentum relation for a free particle of rest mass m0 and for momentum p i by c is given by e square equal p square c square plus m0 square c raised to 4. In order to obtain the first order equation, we have to do some mathematical rearrangements. For that, this equation is marked as equation number 1. Divide each term by c square, that is c square by c square equal p square plus m0 square c square. Now, e square by c square minus p square equal m0 square c square. And we know that kg equation does not contain any spin, spin time that is kg equation can be applied to particles with the spin 0 only. So, our aim is to incorporate spin into this equation for that we know poly spin matrices sigma are the poly spin matrices and sigma dot a into sigma dot b equals a dot b plus i sigma dot a cross b. Okay. If for a and b operator we consider momentum operator sigma dot p into sigma dot p is p square. In this way if we substitute for p square sigma dot p into sigma dot p in this equation we can incorporate spin that is e square by c square minus sigma dot p sigma dot p equals m0 square c square and again it can be changed as e by c minus sigma dot p e by c plus sigma dot p equals m0 square c square. Using the correspondence principle, energy operator E can be replaced by I h bar dou by dou t 
and the momentum operator can be replaced by minus i h bar del and we introduce the wave function phi for the operators to act upon. This equation is marked as equation number 2. Then this equation can be written as i h bar by c dou by dou t minus sigma dot p. p is minus i h bar del. So, this minus and minus gets plus that is plus i h bar sigma dot del into i h bar by c dou by dou t minus i h bar sigma dot del. This equation acting on phi. We get m 0 square c square acting on phi. Now we have a second order differential equation. And this second order differential equation is equivalent to two first order equations. Before going to that, let us see how many components the wave function phi have. Okay, for that we have the poly spin matrices sigma. We all know poly spin matrices are how many dimension the poly spin matrices have? The poly spin matrices are 2 by 2 matrices. Okay, that is sigma is a 2 by 2 matrix. And we now expand this equation. On opening the bracket, we get, okay, before that, we know x0 equals ct. Here we have taking c here, we have dou by dou x0. Here also we get dou by dou x0. So, i h bar dou by dou x0 plus i h bar sigma dot del i h bar dou by dou x0 minus i h bar sigma dot del acting on phi equals m0 square c square phi. Okay. Now we open the bracket that is i square is minus 1 that is minus h bar square dou by dou x0 acting on dou by dou x0. We get dou square by dou x0 square that is minus h bar square dou square by dou x0 square and this minus i into minus i get plus 1 that is plus h bar square sigma dot del acting on sigma dot del we get sigma dot del the whole square which is acting on phi. We get m0 square c square phi. Okay. Now, we are going to determine sigma dot del. Sigma dot del that is sigma x dou x plus sigma y dou y plus sigma z dou z. Okay. You write the value of sigma x, sigma y and sigma z. Sigma x, sigma y and sigma z are poly spin matrices. Okay. Sigma x is 0, 1, 1, 0. So, it acts on dou x we get 0, dou x, dou x, 0. And sigma y is, okay. sigma y is 0 minus i i 0. So, 0 minus i dou y i dou y 0. And sigma z is 1 0 0 minus 1. That is dou z 0 0 minus dou z. Okay. We get on simplifying this we get dou z dou x minus i dou y. This is dou x plus i dou y minus dou z. We have to actually determine sigma dot del whole square. That is sigma dot del acting on sigma dot del. It means dou z dou x minus i dou y 
dou x plus i dou y minus dou z acting on dou z dou x minus i dou y dou x plus i dou y minus dou z okay here dou z acting on dou z we get dou square z here dou x minus i dou y acting on dou x plus i dou y but we get this is dou z square plus dou x square plus dou y square and here this is dou z into dou x minus i dou y plus dou x minus i dou y into minus dou z so that terms get cancelled we get dou x square plus dou y square plus dou z square zero zero dou x square plus dou y square plus dou z square okay that is sigma dot del the whole square is del square zero zero del square that is sigma dot del all square is a 2 by 2 matrix and with dou square by dou x zero square we have a 2 by 2 unit matrix that is dou square by dou x zero square acting on i zero one zero zero one which is equal dou square by dou x zero square zero zero dou square by dou x zero square okay that is the first term is a 2 by 2 matrix and the second term is also a 2 by 2 matrix that is the wave function phi has to be a two component wave function and in the kg equation we know that it was a single component wave function here we got phi as a two component wave function now we got a second order differential equation with the phi is a two component wave function okay and this second order differential equation is equivalent to two first order equation and our objective is to obtain a first order equation that is it should be linear in del as well as dou by dou t okay for that let us take let phi of r equals i h bar dou by dou x zero minus i h bar sigma dou del phi that is this term i h bar dou by dou x zero minus i h bar sigma dou del phi and i take one of the m zero c term from here that is phi by m zero c from the numerator of the r h s to the denominator of the l h s okay and let phi of l equals phi this equation is marked as equation number three four and this is equation number 5 okay from equation 4 we get phi of r equals i h bar dou by dou x zero minus i h bar sigma dou del phi of l by m zero c okay on substituting this value value of phi of r in equation number 3 we get i h bar equation 3 becomes this term i h bar dou by dou x zero plus i h bar sigma dou del and this term is i h bar dou by dou x zero minus i h bar sigma dou del and phi of l by m zero c is phi of r so here we substitute as phi of r which is equal remaining term is m0 c phi and we have phi as phi of l that is m0 c phi of l okay this is equation number 5 this is equation number 6 now we again write the equation number 5 as i h bar dou by dou x0 Minus i h bar sigma dot del phi of l equals m zero c phi of r. 
This is equation number 7. Now for simplification, I multiply with minus 1 with all the terms in equation number 6. That is equation number 6 now becomes minus i h bar dou by dou x 0 minus i h bar sigma dot del acting on phi of r equals minus m 0 c phi of l equation number 8 and we have to make the minus m 0 c of equation number 7 also negative. So that I will take a minus sign from here that is here I got i h bar dou by dou x 0 minus i h bar dou by dou x 0 plus i h bar sigma dot del acting on phi of l equals minus m 0 c phi of r. This is equation number 9. This we have two equations finally equation number 8 and equation number 9. These two equations are first order equations in dou by dou t as well as del. These two equations couple phi of r and phi of l. Here left hand side is phi of r and the right hand side is phi of l. That is these two equations couple phi of r and phi of l. Now we have to simplify that equation. For that first multiply equation sorry first add equation number 8 plus equation number 9. Okay. Equation number 8 plus equation number 9 we get minus i h bar sigma dot del. I take this term as common that is minus i h bar sigma dot del. That is on adding we get the terms minus i h bar sigma dot del phi of r plus i h bar sigma dot del phi of l. On taking minus i h bar sigma dot del as common term we got phi of r minus phi of l. Okay. Another term on adding is minus i h bar dou by dou x 0 phi of r minus i h bar dou by dou x 0 phi of l. So, I take minus i h bar dou by dou x 0 as common we get phi of r plus phi of l. Okay. On the right hand side we get minus m 0 c phi of r plus phi of l. This is marked as equation number 10. Equation number 10 is obtained by equation number 8 plus equation number 9. Now you subtract that is equation number 8 minus equation number 9. It yields equation number 8 minus equation number 9 means minus i h bar dou by dou x 0 acting on phi of r minus of minus that is it becomes plus i h bar dou by dou x 0 phi of l and I take minus i h bar dou by dou x 0 outside. Then I get phi of r minus phi of l. Okay, that is next term is subtracting minus i h bar sigma dot del phi of r minus i h bar sigma dot del phi of l. That is minus i h bar sigma dot del is taken common. That is minus i h bar sigma dot del phi of r plus phi of l. On the right hand side minus m 0 c phi of l minus of minus plus that is plus m 0 c phi of r that is which is equal m 0 c phi of r minus phi of l. Okay, this is equation number 11. So, we get two equations now equation number 10 and equation number 11 and now we consider let psi a equals phi of r plus phi of l and psi b equals phi of r minus phi of l. Okay, uh, substituting this psi a and psi b in equation number 10 and equation number 11 we get minus i h bar sigma dot del phi of r minus phi of l is psi b that is psi b minus i h bar dou by dou x 0 
acting on psi a equals minus m0 c psi a. Okay. And equation number 11 becomes here on the right hand side we have minus m0 c. So, simplification here also we convert this positive to negative that is minus m0 c for that multiply each term with a negative sign. So, on the left hand side I got i h bar dou by dou x0 psi b plus i h bar sigma dot del psi a equals minus m0 c psi b and this equation can be written in the form in a matrix form that is matrix form is psi a psi b where psi a is a two component wave function and psi b is also a two component wave function and now we have to associate the coefficient matrix that is here psi a so here we written minus i h bar dou by dou x0 psi a minus i h bar sigma dot del psi b that is here the coefficient is minus i h bar sigma dot del which is equal psi a psi b is the wave function on the right hand side of two equation and we can take minus m0 c as common and here we have i h bar sigma dot del psi a that is i h bar sigma dot del and the second name is i h bar dou by dou x0. This we get the equation in the matrix form. From this equation it is clear that psi a is a two component wave function and psi b is also a two component wave function. And you all know sigma are the Pauli's matrices and these Pauli's matrices are 2 by 2 matrices. So, here sigma is a 2 by 2 matrix and here also sigma is a 2 by 2 matrix. That is we got a 4 by 4 matrix here. Okay. That is this matrix is equal, is equal to a 4 by 4 matrix. That is a 4 dimensional matrix. And here psi a is a 2 component wave function and psi b is also a 2 component wave function. This matrix is also 4 dimensional. So, Pauli introduced a 4 by 4 matrix. Then these 4 by 4 matrix are built up from the Pauli spin matrices. Okay. And these 4 by 4 matrices satisfy some properties. And these matrices are known as Dirac matrices. And these matrices are known as Dirac matrices. And these Dirac matrices are represented as gamma. And Dirac matrices satisfies the property anti commutation properties gamma mu, gamma nu is 2 delta mu nu. And they are traceless. And these Dirac matrices are Hermitian. And the Dirac matrices is of the form gamma k is 0 minus i sigma k i sigma k 0. And gamma 4 is i 0 0 minus i. Okay, where k equals 1, 2, 3, it corresponds to spatial component. Okay, now we have to represent this matrix form equation in a single equation using this 4 by 4 matrix. Okay, in this matrix form, h bar is common in each day. So, I take h bar common from the left hand side and I put it here on the right hand side denominator. So, I got here minus i dou by dou x0. So, this i comes to denominator it becomes i x0 where i x0 is x4. We know that x4 is i c t and c t is marked as x0. Okay. So, he, here we get dou by dou x4 and this term becomes same as minus i sigma dot del and this term is i sigma dot del and this term is here i when comes to denominator it becomes minus i that is minus dou by dou x4 acting on psi a psi b equals minus m0 c psi a psi b. Okay, now I picked up this equation that is dou by dou x4 
this matrix can be expressed as the sum of dou by dou x bar 0 0 minus dou by dou x bar plus 0 minus i sigma dot del i sigma dot del 0 this acting on psi a psi b equals minus m0 c by h bar h bar taken from left hand side here also we have h bar that is m0 c by h bar psi a psi b ok this equation can be similarly written as dou by dou x bar on taking outside dou by dou x bar i 0 0 minus i where i 0 0 minus i is gamma 4 that is this is dou by dou x bar gamma 4 plus this is my 0 minus i sigma i sigma is gamma k that is dou by dou x k dou by dou x k is simply del dou by dou x k gamma k acting on this psi a psi b can be written as psi plus m0 c by h bar psi equal 0 this can be simply written as where k equal 1 2 3 and here we have x bar it can be written as dou mu gamma mu gamma mu dou mu plus m0 c by h bar acting on psi equal 0 here we have gamma mu dou mu plus m0 c by h bar acting on psi equal 0 where mu equals 1 2 3 4 and this gamma mu are the Dirac matrices and this is the Dirac equation gamma mu dou mu plus m0 c by h bar in psi equal 0 is the Dirac equation with Dirac matrices gamma mu and psi is a 4 component wave function. It satisfies all our requirements. It is first order in dou by dou t as well as in del and here also spin is incorporated in this Dirac matrices. So, we this equation can be used to explain equations for spin half particle. Okay, thank you.